today we are exploring a massive collection of abandoned vehicles. Range Rover Sport, Ford Focus ST, and another one. Mercedes 320SL, another Focus ST, Mini Cooper S, Vauxhall Astro VXR. Oh shit, someone's just come in. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm joined with Ben from Lost Adventures and today we are going to check out a massive warehouse with some very, and I mean very expensive cars which have been left abandoned. Let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay guys, so we are now in the first huge warehouse. Now this is divided into two parts. We've got this one which is full of a lot of building material, plasterboard, insulation, a couple of caravans and a camper van, but it's over there which looks interesting. I can already see a Range Rover, a very modern Mercedes, all covered in dust. Let's have a check at this van first. Now this is an Iveco camper van, very desirable van. Apart from all the bird poo and the broken windows, it actually looks really good. Now it's locked up, I can't show you inside sadly. But I mean, that's gotta be worth 15 grand at least. It's a shame because it was probably being stored here for safety and protection from the weather, but I don't know what's happened. It's obviously been vandalized now, which is a real shame. Ooh, we might be able to have a little peek inside here, look. Let's stick the light on and have a look. Oh my God, you know what? It, it actually is really nice. That definitely doesn't deserve to be there like that. We've got a couple of caravans down here. Like I said, all this building material, look, some of it's still brand new. Very peculiar. Even these caravans are probably still worth a lot of money. This is very peculiar. Look, this has actually been broken into. Ooh. Very creepy, very dirty as well. And it looks like that one's got some damage to the ceiling, which isn't good. Twin axle, got another one there. These seats look quite nice. Not sure what they're from, but twin armrests. Okay, I can't put it off anymore. Let's go and have a look and see what cars we've got next door because from what I've seen so far, it looks very good. I'm super excited for this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna make our way over to the other side. <laughs> Look at this. That's very interesting. It looks like it's made of bronze. Sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> ah, we have had a fire here which is a shame because this is actually a grade two listed building. Let's have a little peek up here. I think Ben's over there somewhere. Oh, he's there. <laughs> Let's have a quick peek up here. Ooh, I've just noticed we've got some builders working just over there, so we'll have to be a little bit quiet, a little bit careful. 
okay, but there's not much up here. A few empty rooms. I'm not sure what this would have been used for, but the main reason I've come up here is to have a little look through the window, see if we can get a better view of how many cars we've got here. And I can tell you now, there is a lot. Yeah, a gap in one of these windows. Oh my goodness me. Straight away, I can see a classic Mercedes 300 SL, I think that is. Could be a 500 SL from here, I can't tell. Lots of minis, I can see one, two, possibly three Focus STs. There's a ve ve is it a oh no, it's a Vauxhall Astra VXR. You are kidding me. Okay, we need to get back down there and find out what cars are there because this looks very cool, very cool. Very strange, now why are they here? My God. This is crazy. You can see they've been here for a long time as well. And we've got even more cars and vans being left out there as well. So we're going to check those out later. But right now, let's go and have a look at these cars. Okay, so let's go and check out these cars now. Straight away, very interesting. It looks like a lot of these parts have been boxed up. Now, I'm wondering whether they're actually sending these to a different country, maybe. Africa, maybe they were breaking the cars down for the parts and then shipping them over. But I mean, even this, Range Rover Sport has got to be worth at least 20 grand, at least 20 grand. Look at it. Honestly, mate, these cars are worth a lot of money. A hell of a lot of money. I can't believe it. It's locked, yeah. I didn't want to try it. No, I mean, it does. It's given me like Essex boys, dodgy car shop vibes, you know? Yeah, I mean, look, all this stuff. I mean, that is off a of club. Obviously, you can see it's off a Mini Cooper Clubman, but they're new cars, and there's nothing wrong with that door. That door's probably worth two, three hundred quid. There's the other side. We've got all the lights, the interiors, the bumpers. I think these cars were being broken for their parts, and for whatever reason, like you know, it's stopped. I mean, that Hyundai, that you know, that's not even an old car. It's crazy. I wonder if they were like repossession cars or something. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Yeah. I mean, look at this though. Vauxhall Astra VXR, wow. Oh, wow. I'm never seen this is crazy. This is actually crazy. I mean, those Recaro seats are probably worth five, oh, six hundred wow, pounds. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I'm not too keen on the blue carbon wraps on the dash and everything but <laughs> oh, yeah. honestly mate this is just weird very weird don't think we can open the bonnet unless it's on that side yeah let's have that side let's have a look and see if it is a real vxr i mean it looks it from here i've got to be honest the vicaro seats are a big giveaway but let's double check and see if we have the turbocharged engine underneath this cover. And it's a fake, <laughs> it's a fake VXR. <laughs> it's a fake, it's got everything. It's got the bonnet vents, it's got the Recaro seats, the steering wheel, but it has a dirty Ecotec under the bonnet. <laughs> Hidden away. Hidden away. But someone spent a lot of money on that car. Yeah, yeah, Starts, runs, drives, charge. Interesting. I should have looked at the brakes first. That was a big giveaway. But look, even the steer, like I say, it's even got the VXR steering wheel. So someone has spent a lot of money on that. Oh shit. Someone's just come in. just come in. Need to find out who they are. And what they're doing in here. They're over there. Okay. 
it looks like they're off offloading a load of rubbish. Yeah, I think he's emptying a load of rubbish. There's a couple of guys in the van, so. Yeah, I think they're definitely dumping rubbish. I think what we're gonna have to do is sit up here for five or 10 minutes, just wait for them to go. Yeah. I don't think they're actually like the owners of this place as such. Maybe they're just renting a bit of land. But while they're doing that, I think we're gonna sit tight. Okay, the van, we think is leaving now. Yeah, they've slowed right down. So he's got out of the van, he's walked up to the caravan. I think he's getting back in the van now. Yeah, he is, I think they're going. And we don't know who they are. They've obviously something to do with this place. Whether they're just renting a bit of land off of it or if they actually own it, I don't know. I don't know. But they are going. Which means we can carry on now finish what we were doing. That was a little bit scary, wasn't it? <laughs> it's always scary when people turn up. Even though this place was very easy to get into, Could have been somebody you it's never crazy. know who it is. You never know who it is. No. Right, let's carry on. Okay, okay, let's carry on from where we were. Now, after we discovered the VXR was actually a fake VXR, I'm gonna move down a little bit deeper and go and check out these focuses because these look like STs. And if they are STs, and obviously they are, again, very desirable car. And there's one, two there. Now I'm pretty sure these are real. Recaro seats. Let's not be fooled by the VXR though, because that has uh, a <laughs> Recaro seats. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to open this. You need the key to open this. The barrel has been pulled out, so I'm guessing that's a no-go, but that to me looks like a real ST. It's got all the right bits on it. In fact, I'd put money on it, that was a real one. And what about this one? Again, it's got all the right bits on it. It's got the right interior. But like the other one, I don't think we're gonna be able to have a look at the engine because you need the key to open it. And that one's missing completely. <laughs> but. Never mind. Still an incredible find. Absolutely incredible find. Let's go and have a look down here. Grand Vitara. C Class. We've got another Range Rover. My God. There's some serious money's worth of cars here. And it's the V8. Oh my God. So it is a sport. It's a genuine one. How many is that? One, two, three, four. There's five Range Rovers in here. What is going on? How does this happen? This must have been either one big debt collecting business or like a, I don't know, like a repairs garage. That's another ST. That is another Focus ST. That's a later one. Oh my God. And look at that one. That one's got full leather Recaro seats. 
This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Should we see if we can scare Ben with that? That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? Gonna see if I can creep up behind him. This is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> that was funny. Doesn't look anything like you, Taser, though, but it's funny. <laughs> right, let's uh, put the head back where I found it. And we'll carry on. Now, before we look at anything else, I have to come and have a look at this Mercedes. Look at that. What on earth is that doing here? Now, is it a 300 SL or is it a 500 SL? If it's a 500 SL, it'll have the V8 in it. The bonnet does look like it's open, but it's covered in bird poo. Look at that, it's got the same kind of interior as my old W202. In fact, it looks very similar colour-wise. What's the mileage on it? 108,000 miles, which is nothing for that car. Absolutely nothing. Okay, should we have a look and see what lies underneath? So it's a 320. That is pretty much the same engine that I've got in my 190. In fact, it's the identical engine that I have in my, my 190. Now, these are fast cars by any means, but that engine in my 190, I cannot wait to see what that goes like. Super excited for that car. Oh, I cannot believe that is here. I really can't. It shouldn't be here. It really shouldn't. Now, what other cars have we got? Lots of BMWs, Mondeos. Again, they've all been stripped for their parts. Engines, wheels. I really do believe that this was a company who were breaking vehicles and then shipping their parts abroad. I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. I mean, even that warrior has got to be worth at least five grand. It's mental. I've got quite a few minis here. This is a, obviously a convertible. And look at this, Mini Cooper S. Brilliant little cars these are. I've had three of these now. 1.6 supercharged, obviously you know what they sound like. Love it, absolutely love it. Now, can we have a little look under the bonnet? I don't know if it's gonna open. My catches used to play up all the time at the best of times, and this one doesn't look very promising. Ooh, we might be lucky. We might be lucky. I get my hand under there. Yes, it's a genuine one. Although some of the parts have been taken out, the intercooler is missing, the plugs have been pulled out by the look of it, but it is a Cooper S. Again, very desirable little car. Another mini convertible. We've got a Fiesta there. Let's go and have a look at these Range Rovers over here. God, you can see how much this has lifted up. What's, what's going on under here that's made it do that? because that is solid concrete and it's got a railway line bolted into it as well. I don't know what's caused that. Look at that, three Range Rovers here. And look at the interior in this one. My God. Oh look, <laughs> Mr. Elf is hiding in the glove box. Wow. Oh look, that one's almost got matching interior. But it's a blooming shame that this has to happen. Now, obviously, the kids have been coming here for a, a long time doing this. You know, how they've got away with it, I'll never know. That one's all locked up. And we've got another one here. Different colour interior on this one. It's actually quite nice. I really like that. Grey with black stitching. Very, very nice. You know, it's, it's crazy to find just one of these cars, you know, abandoned somewhere, but the fact that there's five here, 
five. Five Range Rovers in the same place, covered in dust, covered in bird poo. What's going on? We've just had some people turn up. Oh, we've just had some more people turn up and they're shouting. We don't know what's going on. God. I don't know who that is. I don't know. They don't sound very friendly. Oh, fuck. Okay, so we think those people have gone there. We don't know who they are, but they've walked back off over in that direction. Oh, this is feeling a little bit sketchy now, isn't it? It's called someone down there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we don't know because this this place is very very suspicious. Like, there's a lot of high value cars in here which have been left here for some reason. All the bits have been taken off of them. To me, it feels a little bit little bit naughty. So, I think what we're going to do, guys, is try and get an Instagram post with pictures, TikTok video, and I think we have to get the hell out of it because this place is now turned into something a little bit. We might be. Yeah, we might be. Okay, we'll see you in a minute, guys. Wish us luck. Right guys, we are going to make a move because there's too much going on here now. There's lots of people turning up and they're doing it quite nasty. So we're going to go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is a beer explore underscore. Go and check out the Facebook page, TikTok. I will link them in the description below. And we'll see you hopefully on next week's video. <laughs>